Hey everyone, it's Chris from Dead Rescue Labs. I have three new interesting cases. Uh, one I already started on, and two other ones I'm gonna look at today. Um, these are three different USB thumb drives. One was a uh, attempted fix by one of my customers. Um, that should be a fairly simple recovery. Another one is a USB thumb drive that's not responding. And the third one is another one that's showing its size, but it's not responding, but you can see the size of the, size of the uh, NAND chip. Uh, I think that might not be recoverable, but we're going to try it anyways. Uh, so yeah, let's get to it. Okay, so uh, this is the first one. Uh, this one here is not responding at all. I'm not sure why. It could be the controller, but uh, we're going to dig into it and uh, figure out what's going on with this one. And then I have this one. Uh, the customer tried uh, soldering on the, uh, the USB header and... Um, You'll see under the microscope, it's, this one's pretty bad. It's, um, I'm not even going to attempt to plug this one in. Uh, I'm going to remove the, uh, the USB header, clean it up, and then put it back on and fix any components that are, uh, that are moved around here. But uh, this should be a pretty good job, as long as uh, the, the problem is the, the uh, USB header. But we'll, we'll find out. And the, one, the, the last one is I have uh, plugged into already to VNR, which I already started recovering. I'm not sure about that one if it's, if it's recoverable, but we're going to try it anyways. And uh, here is the, the other one. Um, I was having some problems reading this particular chip, so uh, I'll explain why this is not in its socket. It's actually soldered onto the test board. Because um, no, I'm not, not even sure if this is recoverable anymore. And the, the, the chip is not responding. And this is because uh, this, <coughs> this, um, this drive was having an issue. It was showing uh, its size, which was 16 gig, but it wasn't responding. So that doesn't usually mean it's a controller failure. I think the chip itself uh, on this particular uh, USB drive uh, is failing. So this is why we're not recovering anything. But uh, we'll see what we get um, when I get to this particular case. Let's have a look at these USB thumb drives. So we got this one. Um, this side looks okay. I don't see any problems with this side. okay so I think the, the customer was trying to um, fix the USB header and I guess it's hard to see without a microscope what you're doing so <clears throat> you got quite a bit of um, solder here and probably didn't use any flux so that's another reason why the solder is all over the place we get uh, this one component here that's uh, lifted and we can fix that we can probably clean this up without needing to remove the header and we got some gloves of solder here and this is a single chip uh, USB thumb drive. I think it's uh, some off-brand Chinese brand. So uh, hopefully the the USB header is the only problem uh, this drive suffered. Um, maybe the controller failed. I'm not sure yet, but uh, we'll fix this and see what's, what's happening with this one. And then there's this one. This one here is not responding at all. It gets pretty it gets pretty warm. So uh, we'll figure out what's wrong with this one. I think this is a data. Uh, brand USB stick. The controller is fairly well known. So, if we can fix this, then we'll remove the chip and uh, read the drive on the VNR. Okay, so here I'm in Linux. Uh, we're gonna plug this thing in and see what error message we're gonna get. So, the drive is not responding. And it's getting pretty hot. I can feel it through the gloves. Okay, so. Let's uh, have a look at the microscope and see what's going on. Let's check some capacitors. No beep, but I definitely felt heat from this side. This one's okay. Okay, so... Um, since that's kind of suspicious, um, what we can do is, I know I felt heat from that side. Let's uh, plug it in and see what happens. It's hot. Oh, 
right there that capacitor so the next step uh, we're gonna remove it and uh, see if um, see the drive works Okay, so we're back here. Let's see what happens. See if um, see if it's gonna work. I mean, that that one uh, capacitor we don't need it. We can get rid of it. Uh, let's see if what happens. Oh, yeah, there it is. There is the data. Okay, so this is a pretty simple case. It's solved now. I'm just gonna recover this data and move on to the next one. Okay, here we are with the uh, second stick. This is the one with all that solder everywhere. And hopefully that's the only problem or this video is gonna turn out to be uh, two part serious. But uh, let's see uh, what's going on. Now let's uh, figure this stick out. So let's see what we can do. This should be a fairly simple job. I think you just have to remove that. All the blobs of solder and this, um, Drive should be good to go. Hopefully, hopefully that's the only problem. Just gonna remove all this solder here. That was good. Let me see if I can pick up this solder from here. Or well, maybe not. Need some more wick here. Yeah, it looks pretty good. I don't see any shorts. This looks okay. Okay, so let's uh, take this over to the another uh, machine and see if it works. Okay, so here we are on Linux. Uh, let's plug this stick in and see if it lights up. Here we go. So the stick is working. So we got size. Okay, so this is a fully recovered job, hopefully. Let's uh, look at the file system. Yeah, there's data here. Okay, so that's done. <clears throat> All right, so here we are with the last case. Um, this chip I tried to recover but I don't think it's gonna be recoverable like I said initially when I plugged this uh, the, the, this USB drive in it was showing its size but um, it was very slow to respond and there's no data so uh, last thing we tried was to, uh, I pulled the chip off and I put it in the, in, the, in the reader itself and it wasn't reading so um, so I soldered it onto the um, test board and now it's in here and Sometimes it reads the ID, sometimes it doesn't, and let's see if it reads the ID this time. Yeah, it reads the ID, uh, you can ignore these channels, but the channel zero, it is reading it, so the configuration is correct. And uh, try with different settings, different voltage, but um, the problem, the, the biggest issue is this, when you look at the dumb viewer, I have the structures already built. So the structure for the chip is built. Everything seems to be okay, but uh, when we go into the ECC um, and look at the map, the ECC is not really correct. I mean, it is correct for the for the right controller, but it's not correcting it, correcting it as it should. So you can do multiple passes. Um, we can do multiple passes right here. So uh, let's do one single single pass. And what's going to happen is the chip's going to abort very quickly. It's going to start correcting. Uh, 
<clears throat> some blocks Let's see what happens here and there it is and BCH error and one beat the chip and the chip actually uh, errors out so that's so this case is pretty much done with done for um, I'm gonna do some more research on this before I uh, deem this unrecoverable but I think this is as far as we can go on this particular board I've tried uh, jumping to a different address and and uh, no luck. Let's try here. No, it's shorted out. Let's uh, plug it. Plug it back in. And try again. No, it's not gonna work. So yeah, anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, if there's an update to this, this last case, I will definitely make a video. If not, uh, stay tuned for more videos.